Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on the channel. I'm Dr. Nasser, current hospitalist, board certified internal medicine physician, interested in AI in medicine and the advancements of AI in medicine. Today we're going to talk about one of the major topics in medicine, which is POCUS, point of care ultrasound with an AI twist. So just imagine you're in the emergency department, the patient comes in, they're short of breath and they have some chest pain. You see that there's some sign of volume overload and you want to know what's going on with the heart. You want to order an echo, right? That echo will take a day and a half or two just in the hospital to get done. And if you are a physician in the clinic and you were to get that echo done, uh, that could get up to 40 days. So let's get started with my presentation for you guys. These presentations are also created by Manus AI. They do a really good job. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and let's go from there. So again, we always say in medicine, time is tissue, right? We have that critical window. We really need to find out things sometimes within, you know, minutes to save a life, especially in critical care. It could be a matter of life and death. The traditional wait time to get any exam even done before even the report to get two to four hours in the hospital. So the wait is what really is the issue. Not only do you get the imaging, but then somebody needs to also read and report. So we, the specialist skills really create that bottleneck in medicine. And we face this as a hospitalist. You suspect a diagnosis, but it will take sometimes days to confirm the diagnosis. So for example, diagnostic delays we've known are causing extra two to 2.3 days of hospital stay and increased risk of mortality 15 to 20%. So which is why this topic is very important. And so I would like you guys to pay close attention. It's not too text heavy. These slides are, I'm going to go right to the point. So, you know, the evolution of a stethoscope, so a physical exam, the acoustic era, about the 200 years, guys. So that's 1816. We should be moving towards, you know, from arts, from hearing something and guessing to actually visualizing. So we're moving towards that visualizing era. And you notice uh, a lot of patients come in in the ED, they already have multiple things, a chest x-ray, CT scan that are done right away and sometimes four and five imaging. But those images will take time to get and also remember report and you ex expose patients to radiation, especially with CT imaging. But ultrasound would be amazing, right? Imagine you have an ultrasound, you don't have ultrasound skills as much, but you also have an ultrasound that's AI guided. So this is what I'm talking about. We're going to Basically, the breakthrough that we're going to have is this AI is going to democratize those special skills, the, the job of the, the sonographer and the job of the radiologist who is going to be reporting it. And it also enables anyone, like a medical student, nurse, anyone who's untrained in the hospital to be able to basically use an ultrasound to visualize an organ. So the first breakthrough, this AI-powered real-time guidance was done by FDA, was cleared in 2020, it was done via that de novo pathway. Basically, they wanted to get it approved right away for COVID patients. And so over a 20 day period, the FDA approved the AI guidance technology. It basically, what happens, you put the ultrasound on there and the ultrasound starts to tell you exactly how to rotate your probe, how much to rotate it, press harder on the skin, move it up, move it down. It will show you exactly how to put it on and it will basically Put on the screen how much your image quality it needs optimization and what you need to do to make it optimized and it will get the best quality images for you by just telling you you can listen to these devices have your headphones in and you have the ultrasound on one hand the app on the other it's connected to your phone very fast and easy tells you exactly what to do and you'll get the data right there and and this is called an auto capture technology and it only records the data when the diagnostic quality is met. So that's the key as well. It takes about 10 minutes to get to the diagnosis, which is amazing breakthrough. And this is where we're moving to, right? So you get the exam, you have the real-time images with guiding, telling you exactly how to get the images, capture the best quality, and then it will diagnose, give you the ejection fraction. It will give you stroke volume, all the things. And really quickly, you know, the patient has heart failure or not, and what's the stroke volume and what you can do. It will even tell you the wall motion abnormalities. And so you can actually immediately start your intervention instead of doing empiric therapy where you just do whatever and see the results. Then you know exactly what you're treating at that point. You save lives and your confidence in treating the patients will be restored as well.
we know that immediate diagnosis can actually enable life-saving intervention and that improving mortality. 58% if you, especially we're talking about mortality risk in patients, if you're waiting for imaging and just empirically treating, we have a higher rate of admissions because of this. Because our patient focus, if you were to do that, that would, for an echo, would be like 40 days. But in that meantime, the patient could get admitted. And then the time to diagnosis, right? Even a hospital, a day or two versus outpatient versus the AI ultrasound, which could be up to 10 minutes, right? So 10 minutes versus 40 days median, right? For the outpatient, depending on where you live. So all you need is really to get the compatible AI compatible device. So have a smartphone. You buy the hel a handheld probes. It could be the Butterfly IQ3, which is compatible. And you buy the licensed AI platform with a monthly subscription and that has the AI guidance module and with automated interpretation. And you can even do a day or two of workshop, which the vendor will come and help you out. It's, for example, if you're in a hospital, you can get a few of your physicians, do a pilot program and really get their skills going. And remember, as you do more and more, you will also going to be able to get the images faster. So you may require less guidance each time that you put the ultrasound probe on somebody. The Caption Health right now is a part of the GE Healthcare. So GE Healthcare is one of the biggest medical device companies in the world. And they bought this Caption Health, which is the FDA approved AI guidance system. And so they're working together. So they have the automated ejection fraction calculation, quality meters. And Butterfly Network is the ultrasound company that is the handheld. You basically you can get all images from everywhere. They also have the auto beeline counter for lung exams, and that's the one that you basically can connect to your phone. There's another AI tool being developed by Cosmos. The Cosmos is really cool. It has the echo, the EKG, and the stethoscope combined together. It will give you the AI-driven image grading guidance. It gives you the EF, stroke volume, you name it. Right now, we're looking at a lot of cardiac focus. So FDA has cleared these for heart exams and ejection fractions. But we're moving in 2025 this year and the next we're working on multi-organ expansion. The next one will be the lungs. We're looking for pneumonia, edema, pneumothoraces, effusions, and the abdomen will be for trauma and also vascular access. So central lines, you know, if you're a resident, this ultrasound guided with the AI it can tell you exactly so you don't hit the lungs or cause major bleeding and issues. If there's nuances a patient has clots in them you will be able to the ai the technology will tell you so uh, in 2030 we're going to have universal diagnostics basically you have one handheld device that can do the whole body assessment you just put them on heart lung abdomen now uh, you can put the ultrasound on actually see real-time images so that physical exam we're talking about from the art of it learning how to palpate doing those things will turn into an objective kind of science and these are my, all of my references. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I'm kind of moving fast, but I wanted to get to the data, you know, all of the data out to you guys. This is all evidence-based. All the sources are available. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any ideas for the future on our physician efficiency series, I really appreciate you tell me in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day.